so we got the hair on ready to go Hey guys, my name is Kaya. For any of you that are new and viewing, I'm going to make today's video very simple, easy, and quick. Okay, so today I'll be installing a wig and doing my makeup. Very simple. Get ready with me. So if you guys are interested in seeing it, make sure you continue to watch. All hair info will be in the description bar below. So I'll show you guys each product that I'm going to use on my face today. I'm not going to do any eyeshadow because I really don't like to do eyeshadow and I'm not that good at it. So um, I usually just stay more focused on my skin. So if you're looking for that type of tutorial, that's what today's video will look like. So now I got my powder on. I usually do some powder right here to clean up my contour a little bit to snatch the face, um, which I am going to do. But I'm going to add a little bit of my bronzer into my eyelid space because sometimes I like to have just a little bit of a bronzed look there as well. And sometimes I will go in with a like cream. So I have this, I think this is the right one. I have this rich chocolate elf concealer here it's their camo concealer and it's a little bit darker so I'll sometimes put that on my eyelid and just make it like a, a base to kind of darken up my eyelid space to make it kind of like an eyeshadow look but not really if that makes any sense <laughs> <clears throat> We'll blend this out. So it kind of looks a little bronzed. Then we'll go in with that same bronze powder that I used on my face. I'm just gonna blend over it. It kind of makes it look like a brown eyeshadow look. Listen, I'm no makeup artist, okay? I just do what works for my face. I used to really be into eyeshadow looks, but then I stopped doing them because honestly, I don't enjoy doing my eyeshadow, so that's why I don't do it. But for the most part, I think I can kind of make it work usually. That's my eyeshadow look basically. Very dark brown. So now I'm going to go back in with some more bronzer on my face it's bronze but I want it to be a little bit more bronze I feel like that first layer kind of settles in some and then you add some more and it darkens it up a little bit I'm gonna clean up the contour with the same powder So I removed the Vaseline off my lips because when I add my, my, I like my lips to be 
drier, not moist because then the product moves around and it doesn't stay exactly where you want it to. So I always get questions about what liner do I use and this is a Wet n Wild eyeliner here. It's just a brown color, dark brown that I purchased from Light. I think Five Below is where I got it from. And I saw this trend on, or not trend, I just saw a girl do this on, on TikTok. So I'm going to try it today. You use some of your concealer as your lip product. So I'm just dabbing a little bit on my finger, which is this rich chocolate color from Elf. So it'll be my lip color. And doing this makes a really pretty ombre. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Oops. And then I'm going to go back in with the liner and just kind of fill in some areas where the where the product might have moved around a little bit. And you can stop here or you can add a gloss, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add this gloss that's from Sam's Beauty. It's just a clear a clear gloss. And I'm just going to dab my lips together. See, it's very cute. And then I'm going to add my lashes, y'all. Because what is a look without me? These lashes are from my local beauty supply store, so I don't know the brand of them. So I apologize about that. I know they came in a purple box, and it was like three in a pack. And they were like $6, maybe 7 Very cheap lashes, but they wear so well. I've gotten a lot of wears out of them. All right, you guys. So that pretty much finishes up the eyes. Now I'm going to get my wig. Everything looks nice and blended, melted, nice little face. And to tie everything together, I'm going to use this MAC Prep and Prime here, Finish and Spray. And dry it on down. Now I'm going to go get the wig. Be right back. Alright you guys, so here is the wig right here. This is a very beautiful um, wavy unit. Very easy to install by the way, so I'm about to show you exactly what I mean by super quick and easy. So this is a reinstall, right? Just take it off, put it right back on. No glue, none of that necessary. So to make it glueless for me and make it work, I do cross the back of the wig the adjustable straps here and I'm just gonna pull it on over like a regular wig this unit has combs and stuff but I'm not really gonna utilize those combs maybe the one in the back but not the two on the side so let me show you Now, of course, you can go over it with extra heat, but there is no need for any type of glue to hold this wig in place because if you cross the adjustable straps in the back, it makes it super fitting, very comfortable too. It doesn't look funny in the back. It doesn't make it look too big or bulky, none of that. So I'll turn around so you guys can see it. So it looks just as normal as it would if it wasn't done with that cross method so to get my baby hairs to lay down of course you can use a gel like a Gatsby gel you use a spray you could use mousse you could use edge control whatever works for you I'm going to use a little bit of mousse That is pretty much how I put back on my wigs after they have already been worn. The unit is beautiful. It's still holding these curls. Amazing. The only product that are in these curls right now is some mousse and water. And that was from my previous wear. So the only thing I would do now is just add, I'd probably do a little heat up here just to make it as flat as it can be but it's actually pretty flat right now makeup tutorial hair done I got on this flannel because I'm chilling out I dressed it up of course with the jewelry 
that's all I got for you guys today this hair is popping right now like I cannot believe that it literally came out of me repackaging it up and it came out of the packaging just like this like that's how you know good quality hair you see how well this hair is holding up like I would have expected it to me so much more work than what I did all I did was put it on and then reset the edges and that was it and you have to do anything else to it so you know that's bomb okay so definitely check out my links below um direct link to this hair for sure so thanks y'all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all